festival's all about, I right? I do believe. Yeah. Can well, everyone... they are having a good time, and I think we, I am too, because look who's just joined me. You might recognize this guy. I love what they've done with your hair. I know. Well, <laughs> had to, the leaves are quite new, my friend. Uh, exactly. Thank Bacchus you, from, guess what? Bacchus Liquor. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, he's perfectly dressed. Exactly. And he's not only perfectly dressed, but he has some wonderful stuff to tell us, yes. I bet, about what's going on in the world of Bacchus. Yes, well, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's the Millbrae Food and Wine Festival, where this is our third year being interviewed, and uh, we got some great wines that we have here, and then also the segment is really about what wine goes well with festival food. Festival I, food. Festival food. All the festival food here. And then we have some great festival here. Ron, thank you very much for bringing this great <laughs> festival food. Whoa, holy moly. All right, perfect. Here we go. My second rule applies, I think. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Before we get into the wine, I just want to talk about the festival food a little oh, bit, right? All festival right. Festival foods are so fun. This is like Chateaubriand, but fried. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, maybe one or two steps below. But nevertheless, <laughs> we'll, we'll, you know, we'll take it. So, one of the things I really like is actually the fried artichokes, one of my favorites. I'm sure these are from Castro Valley. Of course. You know, organic. Organic and everything else. And they fry them up really, really well. I think it go well with the Sauvignon Blanc. I'll talk about this in a moment. So. We'll taste it, of course. Oh, And absolutely. then, of course, right across from me is, uh, I think they call themselves uh, Big Ass Sausages, <laughs> and which is amazing because it is quite big. It is all coming it off the a, end of the bun. It bond. is a big ass sausage. It really is. It's amazing. So they were really great. And let me uh, sneak in there so I can bring one to the show. To the show and oh. uh, and kind of go from there. So why don't I pour a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc for so you? Do we always start with white? Yes, we start with white first. It just makes it a little bit easier. Is there a reason for that? Uh, just because it's lighter, the acids are a little bit higher, right? You know what I mean? Right. And this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is a, a, a Tonella Cellars. Okay. Fourth generation Napa family. Ooh. His great grand uncle was the winemaker over at BV, wow. and they own a small little piece of property right across the street from uh, the Rutherford Grill about an eight acre property, Stephen Tonella. They make wow. one of the best Sauvignon Blancs, very, very That's Napa style. That's a tiny little very, space. Very, very tiny space, but we love supporting nice families that actually oh, know how to yeah. do this. So. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I shouldn't, but okay. Perfect, so we'll have a little bit of this. <laughs> well, it looks well, wonderful. Yeah, exactly. Now, what am I supposed to see when well, I Well, the do first this? thing you want to make sure it's clear, and then okay. it's kind of that, that, uh, that there's there, and then, of course, you have to smell the wine. That smells like wine. Smells, smells like wine, kind of like the <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc notes, right? You mm. know what I mean? So Sauvignon and Blanc notes are are a little bit more crisp, a little bit more not not as sort of like round, but a little bit more leaner, and that's ah. why it goes well with fried foods because the ah. grease of fried food needs to get cut with something crisp, and that makes one makes it really delicious. But let's taste it first. That sounds a lot better right? than soda. Uh, it really does. <laughs> right? Cheers to that. Ooh. Oh, that's yummy because a lot of, I mean, as if I know. No, no, of course, you do. You, in you my own sure. empirical experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of them are so sharp, they yeah. kind of just grab you by the throat, exactly. like a tannin. Yeah, thing. this has a little roundness to it, right? This has, yeah, this has roundness to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. How about a little bit of artichoke with that? And I think that might help a little ah. bit. All right, a little artichoke with that. Mm. Mm. Anything fried is in, no, good, in really my good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. Right? Country you're right. I bet this would go good with Indian food, yes, too. Yes, Indian food also, exactly. Right. That spice, it cuts right through. Yes. But you still taste the food that's still there, and um, it has a really, really nice sort of roundness to it. Yeah, so, which is it really, really, really good. that is wonderful. Now, what if I'm in your store buying mm -hmm. it? What mm -hmm. am I looking at? Uh, $28 a oh, bottle. Are you kidding? Yeah, from Napa Valley. And uh, with a small family, they only make about 500 cases of this, so it's a really small production. Wow. But really, really delicious. So, and we love I, some. Are you going to be open after this? We are going to be open at 7 <laughs> o'clock. You are always welcome, my dear. I love it. Yes, I love these interviews with a complete spinster. <laughs> exactly. We just make it work, right? That's right. We'll make it work. Well, this is yummy. And the next wine that I have. Oh. That is, you know, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I also like to drink French wine. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because typically their Chablis and everything yes, exactly. are more like, like this. this. They're not exactly. too sharp, they're more rounded. Round. Nice and easy, but not too buttery, right? You know right. What I mean? And do they, nice and balance. they typically have less uh, alcohol in them. Slightly less alcohol. This one is, uh, this one's got a little bit of kick to it, but a lot of California wines actually do have 
a little bit more alcohol than most. This is actually at uh, 14.5, so drink that's, slow, Victoria. That's a bunch, yes, yes. So anyways, but... Uh, the days of 12 are gone. The days of 12 are long gone, <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, global warming, yeah. more sugar, means more alcohol, right? So, but so, but uh, Tonella wine's really, really great. The next one is going to be Stolmuller. Mm, Stolmuller Vineyards are actually from... Um, Alexander Valley. Oh. They own 300 acres in the Alexander Valley, 150 planted. And the majority of that is actually is Cabernet. Three of the best wineries in the in the world, in the United States, are out of there. Silver really? Oak, Jordan, Ridge are all in the Alexander Valley. I didn't know and that. there's a reason why. So Stolmuller Vineyards, Cabernet, so sort of really nice sort of bottle right over there. Oh, it's gorgeous. So let me pour it for you a little bit there. Where is Duckhorn? Is that up Duck Horn is Duckhorn is located in Napa, okay, so. uh, but they also have a property in Alexander, Alexander Valley. Valley. Do they really? Exactly. What so do they, what do uh, they, they do a brand called Decoy there and oh, Paradox. Yes. So they oh. have so they do some of the wines out of that area. I believe it's Decoy that they do it, and so it's a really really nice wine, very approachable. Very cabinet well, I love, smell. I love Decoy. Holy decoy. right, delicious, right? This is yummy. Ah, oh, and you see, what I love is the softness mm -hmm. because, I mean, I don't know the parlance. I just say yeah. it's, a, it's a lovely little wine, not overly yeah. presumptuous. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but delicious and round and yummy. And soft and round. Oh. And what could go well with it? A hot dog from Eat. Big Ass Stewart. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to take a bite. Yes. All right. Over to, to you, my dear. All right, just to get us started. <laughs> I'll hold this. All right. All right. And then I'm going to let you have the other side. Okay, I'll just take a little right. nibble. I'm going to take a little nibble and have it with the wine. All right? We kind of done like this, like in that one uh, TV show, Ratatouille or something like mm -hmm. that. All right. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That's amazing. Normally, if you drink wine with a hot dog or something, it's I like... know, but when it's a beef hot dog with this kind of wine, it works well. Right? So now this is a Cabernet, but not it's not Cabernet. just any Cabernet. It's not just any Cabernet. Uh, so Fritz Stolmuller is the winemaker and sort of owner of the brand, and his family owns this great, great, great property. It goes well with the steak, yes. or it could go well with a festival hot dog, right, which is the, part of our segment. Well, the thing I love about this is that most Cabernets mm -hmm. are very heavy. Yes. They can be just weigh you down. Yep. This one's light enough, but yet there's enough flavor on, yeah, the, on the profile exactly. that you want to have another glass, which is always Ex sort of good. Exactly, because normally I would go to Merlot mm -hmm. to get this kind of softness. Yes, exactly. But that doesn't always have the complexity. No, nope, exactly. But you get it from the Alexander Valley. And the main reason is primarily because the Alexander Valley is one coast, is closer, is one valley closer to the ocean. So it actually gets cooled oh. off around 3 o'clock. Oh. Then it goes over the Maya Camus and goes over to Napa and gets cooled off at 5. That extra two hours, right, of coolness yes. actually raises up the acids a little bit and creates that little that softness that you don't normally get. So, the wine. if you're looking for wines and yeah. you like softness, yeah. Alexander Valley is a good place to be. Soft but yet bold. Soft but yet bold. Right? Excellent combo. Yeah, not necessarily. It's bad. It's I don't like an insipid wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm with you there, right? You know what I mean? Because it's, because the best bottle is the bottle that's gone. Yes. Right. Yes. So, but cheers to that, right? Cheers so, to that. Which is always very good. I love this man. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. Three years in a row, what more do I want, Oh, right? yes. And this time you brought me dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, At least festival food. This, How's that sound? Yes. Well, I mean, but the amazing thing is you would never, ever. I mean, if I hadn't experienced uh, Indian wine. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc That's at an right. Indian restaurant. Yes, 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 yeah. I never would have tried it. Uh -huh. And then I realized, oh, my God, yep. this is really good. Totally, right? And, and their Sauvignon it seems a little different, not yeah. quite as edgy correct, as some of the other. Correct, 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 correct. Um, and then I realized, whoa, then you there are some things you can drink wine That's with. right, that's right, yeah. With all these different types of foods, I think it's just kind of finding the right balance. Well, yeah, because Cabernet and steak, is, is everybody knows about it's that. It's a natural fit. Exactly. But you wouldn't think... Hot dog, but of course, exactly. beef hot dog. Beef hot dog makes it even better, right? You know short what I mean? ribs. So, you know, I pork. could see this with short ribs. I could see this with pork. I could see this with short ribs. The, I think Alexander Valley has a very, very versatile sort of Cabernet. Right. That is not just sort of one sort of note of just, oh, it's this one thing that I can eat it with. I mean, when bottom line, when you think of the Napa Valley, you think of steak. 
right? Yes. But I think with Alexander Valley, you can think steak and you can think other things that kind of go along with it. Well, I've had some Pinot Noirs from uh, Alexander yeah, Valley. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what got me first interested yes, in the region. Yes, exactly, yep. But I'm, I didn't have the knowledge, mm -hmm. obviously, for the others to yeah. pursue. But this is an eye-opener. Yeah, yeah. And well, how much is this? Uh, this one is uh, $39.99. So it's a still, great still within the range. Oh, still within the range. Still, you're great not going to wine. three digits. Yeah, so. you're not going to three digits, right? <laughs> it won't break the bank. You can have this on a Monday, yeah. or you can have it on a Friday, and you'd just be equally as happy. Absolutely, yeah, which absolutely. Is very important, so, and you can uh, obviously keep it, so you don't yeah. have to drink the whole bottle. Exactly, at once. you can always, uh, yeah, exactly, you can put the cork back in. I think the cork went somewhere. Although that is but, hard uh, to do. It's exactly, it really shouldn't happen, right? Do. Exactly, life's too short. Right? You <laughs> life's know what I mean? too so. short. Well, you know, I just I love talking to Bacchus, and I've been to his store lots of times. Yeah, no, and the beauty of it is is that you started out because yeah, I, I interviewed yeah. you a long time you ago did. when you yeah, first started yeah, out. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank and you. And you were first one to do the um, let's do pairing. Yeah, exactly. And you have them organized in your store, store. so you find know. Find the protein with the Find the, the protein, find the wine. Wine, exactly. No brainer. Yeah, well we have one new thing that just started up last year. Oh, we yeah. actually do spirits now. Really? Yes, we do whiskey and spirits. So wow. we have a great, we did our first barrel ourselves uh, last year and it's uh, with, so it's, uh, you know, Bacchus Barrel, and it's delicious. So it's all your own stuff? Uh, stuff that we purchased, but then we also bought a bought a barrel last year, and ah. we put our little label on it, and it was really, really oh, good. What fun. Only 132 bottles, we sold out in two months. I'll bet. It was really I'll delicious. Bet. A nice Kentucky bourbon. You well, gotta I'm, a love big, it. I'm a big fan of Hennessy Paradis. Oh, <laughs> well, you have good taste, my dear. Uh, we can also get that, but that's a special order only. <laughs> yeah. And Cristal. Oh, really? That too. Oh, but my goodness. You know, but, you know, the beauty of, the, of this wine is that we're seeing today is you don't have to spend 150 bucks. Exactly. You don't have to spend, you know, an astronomical exactly. number like yep. $900. You can get really nice yep. wine, wine, really soft. Yep. And as they say, life's too short to drink cheap wine. You right? got it. <laughs> Cheers to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we are having a wonderful time here. And you know what? I think along with the food and the wine, yep. we need some music. So I think so, too. I wow. Think, I think Bob Coverson is uh, Coverson is ready to All right, rock Bob. You roll, rock, baby. baby. So, Will Gray, you, you rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>